The High Commission of India, Ghana, has held a reception at India House to commemorate the 71st Republic Day celebrations in Ghana. Having presented his diplomatic credentials to the President of Ghana earlier in the day, the new High Commission of India, His Excellency Mr. Shugat Rajaram, welcomed each guest to the occasion. The ceremony was attended by ambassadors, diplomats, high-ranking government of Ghana officials, members of parliament, chiefs and queen mothers, and a cross-section of Indians and the Ghanaian community. The occasion presented a great opportunity for the High Commission of India to renew its ties and friendship with Ghana and the diplomatic community. Addressing the gathering, His Excellency Shugat Rajaram said India has made several advancements in its nationhood over the years and now boasts one of the fastest growing economies in the world. From non-traditional areas like education, health, agriculture, Almost half of the startups are coming from tier 2 and tier 3 cities focusing on local innovations and almost half of the startups are set up by women. As a result, India is getting transformed with a rapid growth of development and today India is one of the fastest growing economies, major economies in the world. Mr. Shugad noted the close bonds of friendship that has existed between his country and Ghana. He proposed a toast to the health and well-being of the people of Ghana. To the health, happiness and well-being of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, to the well-being and prosperity of the people of Ghana and to the lasting friendship between India and Ghana. On his part, the majority leader of Ghana's parliament, Honorable Oseche Moinsa Bunsu, asked for a further deepening of relationship between the two nations. He responded to the toast by the Indian High Commissioner. Permit me to once again congratulate you on your appointment as High Commissioner of your country to Ghana. It is our hope that your assumption of office will further deepen the relations between our two countries in all fields and will translate the relations between our two countries into forms of cooperation for the mutual benefit of our peoples. Honorable personalities, distinguished guests, to join me in raising our glasses to respond to the toast to the personal well-being and the continued good health of His Excellency Sir Ramnath Kavind, President of the Republic of India, and to the excellent friendship and cooperation between Ghana and India. Long live Ghana. Long live India. Long live Ghana-India relations. And thank you very much. Meanwhile, the beauty and diversity of the world's biggest democracy was on display as a classical Indian dance was performed at the function, coupled with an indigenous Ghanaian dance. <laughs> The occasion was by far the biggest gathering of diplomats, government officials and the Indian community in the year 2020, a further testament to the thriving relationship between India and the rest of the world.